a that is thinking they did a bushcraft ramp type thing so it's not as as big of a dip for the bikes they put a couple sticks in the ground and then put the bigger branches right there all right that was that was nice okay no reception yet so i'm pushing on through that's what i said <laughs> not her definitely not her if you're hiking too that looks like a trail i think a lot of people used to take that one but that's not a trail so they put some sticks here just to detour um some people but if you see orange little flags it's kind of telling you hey go this direction They shouldn't call this three bridge trail. They should call this 100 hill trail. All uphill, 100 uphill trail. What do you know, another hill. Okay, this is the fifth bridge. I mean, it's little, but it's still a bridge. That's what she, you know, you know what she said. But, yes, it's still called a bridge. So five, five trail bridge so far. Five trail bridge. Five bridge trail. You know what I'm talking about. And this camera keeps on getting, I know it's kind of glossy, like it's smudged up, but humidity's so bad out here. The humidity is just fogging that lens up. So it's not my breath. Maybe not. GoPro stopped recording. I can't believe that I'm still going up in altitude. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see all the way down there. That's not even... That's not even the end of the hill right there. It drops off another couple hundred feet at least. But I've been going up this hill for about a, almost a mile. Well, it feels like a mile. I bet you it might be half a mile or three quarters, but it's a pretty big hill. This shouldn't be called bridge. Anything to do with the bridge on this freaking trail. But I see why I see why bikes and it's less traveled. I see why bikes don't do this trail because they they're smart and they did the research and they know that this is not the trail to do. Except going downhill maybe. But this is gonna be a doozy with them with these hills this steep. I'll let you know if I survive this hill, this bridge hill road, hilly bridge. Even the trees got hills. Look at this bump. Look at this bump in that trunk. It's got a booty on it. A booty tree. Oh, you get so tired climbing this freaking 300 hilly bridge. You need emergency access? Uh, no. Not this guy. I know it doesn't seem like it sometimes, but I think I do some thinking, and I do really do some thinking when I'm going through the the, the woods with a big monkey on my back. Hey, I told you guys before they're not pierced or nothing. I'm not sure why they're always like this. It's freaking 95 or 97 degrees right now. I can't tell you. Um, I said earlier that I don't like walking in circles. I got to thinking, it's okay for exercise and to walk in circles if you don't have 55 pounds on your back. 
I mean, granted, I'm gonna have 40 today, but if I had just water, a cell phone, um, and maybe a first aid kit, um, 20 pounds, 25 pounds tops, it might be more enjoyable. Um, so I would definitely do this again, but I wouldn't be carrying half a Walmart on my back. So I just had to say that just to let you guys know it's a peace of mind still you know it's really it's really ther therapeutical uh that get out get away from people i've been like when i first woke up um and i saw two people in the parking lot that was the worker that was going down the road and that was kim that was checking on me this morning uh and she was i guess she was walking three miles somewhere three or four miles somewhere else she said but uh after that I haven't saw a person on this trail at all. Like, I haven't saw a person on this trail at all today anyway. But uh, it is uh, very relaxing. It's during the week too. So if you want to really get away from people, don't go in the weekends. I think all the fitness fitness freaks and bicyclists and everything um, and avid hikers that have real jobs and not YouTube jobs, they're probably working. And then on weekends, they'll be out here. So it'll probably be a little busier out here on the weekend. But uh, I chose to come out here Monday just for that purpose. So I didn't have to uh, have to socialize with a lot of people. Even though I do social media all the time, you guys think that, you know, it, it's like that 24-7, which it almost is. So sometimes I need stuff like this. The camping, the hiking, um, the survival stuff. It, 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 uh... It winds me down, and I need that sometimes. I'm wound up way too much. Ask, ask Tasha. What do we got here? Christopher Cove. Who the hell is Christopher? My brother's name's Christopher, but Christopher Cove. What is this about? Looks like a power line road to me, because there's power lines, I think. And this is what it looked like. Oh, I'm just going to the edge of it. I was going to say, yes, that is the power line thing. I'm near the power line, power line road. Once I get to there, I got a mile to go to my turn on whatever other road I need to be on. Well, maybe a half a mile. This is going to feel like a mile. Okay, just got out of Christopher Cove. So that whole area that I had uh, started with from the other the other uh, power line where I did the video out to here is called Christopher Cove. But this one's actually, I shouldn't be on Power Line Road, but I am on, cut through the power line to the next of the woods, I believe. That's my tracker. I put it for four, four miles because that's what I needed to go to hit my eight mile mark, I believe. And it's saying I'm halfway there, so uh, two more miles to go. So I took a break earlier, and uh, I think I took a break at the halfway mark. So I am 75% way there, I think.
you get lost in this place with all these marks that look like pathways got to make sure you stay on the right path there's markers there the blue blazes Well, I guess they ran out of arrows. This means a sharp, sharp turn, apparently. But from my memory, one's supposed to be exactly kind of like this, but over here on this direction, well, actually it'll be on this way because you, you connect the lines and it's supposed to be mean it's going that, that direction. I could have swore I passed by this one already, but I don't think I did because I ain't passing any bridges again. This says emergency access four. So maybe it's just that direction where the other sign is, and that is the, the route to go. Okay, power line trail, that direction. I'm not going to that one. This is three bridge trail that way. So I'm gonna follow the blue. And it's blue that way too, but they're trying to confuse me. I'm not getting lost today, people. But uh, Pigeon Roost Road and Three Bridge Trail. I'm, I'm meeting up with Pigeon Roost Road. Uh, looking at my map here. Let me get this, get this out for you. But we are right here right there so we went all the way around from here all the way around to here that seems further than that but geez but i'm going to be going another half a mile or so and then going to uh south to pigeon roost road and then cutting back over here okay that's the plan sounds good to me sounds easy enough right all right okay go post stop recording hey guys come on with me all right glad you joined us i'm gonna do like a blues clues with you if you're old enough to know about blue sleuth we're on the freaking i can't even say the word right we're on the freaking three bridge trail should not be named that but i've already got into that but are you are you ready are you ready to see what this trail has to offer yes we're going to pigeon roost road or whatever it's called come on come on guys let's see what is in store okay that's over i'm done i don't have any energy for extra bad acting so sorry if that wasn't sufficient enough for you you have to stay tuned <laughs> okay this is maybe this is considered the second official bridge but uh this is the the sixth bridge folks with no water this is dry as heck yeah kim was right there's no water from here on until you get to the lake she said it was like uh, a little bit after the lake and then it starts drying up since it's been so hot I've noticed too that 
my um, my steps are getting robbed because I pause it when I take a when I take a break. I pause the step thing so the duration, the time doesn't keep uh, keep rolling. But then when I start moving, I forget to hit the resume. Well, if I was going in a straight line and I hit resume, it would give me the mileage because it's doing the GPS where I used to be, but it won't give me the steps. So it's still going to take the steps. Uh, but if I'm going freaking in and out like this, and I maybe I, I went two miles, but I was like right, I was like right there, and then I'm right here now. It's only going to give me the GPS from here to here, and not the two miles that I wound in and out. But I'm not going to complain about it anymore because I just did. Okay, we're on the seventh bridge, and I'm thinking this is the third actual bridge, or maybe the second actual bridge, because this is a big, big bridge like that other one. So, seven bridge road, seven bridge trail. And please let me know, guys, let me know why these are pivoted in and not straight. Is it so you couldn't set nothing on top of it and it'll fall in the creek? But I want to know why this top is not level. They got it at an angle. So maybe you don't set something here and it fall off. I don't know. If you know it all, please tell me so I know a little bit more than I know now. So, oh, there's water in this one. Whew. Freaking tired. I am tired. With yesterday, I'm glad that I took a lot of weight out of this pack and did that. Okay. Taking a break. Um, good time to take a break because I just went up this really big hill. Who would have thunk? Um, and I'm going downhill, so it's going to be a little easier once I start back. Uh, what I'm doing here, what I'm doing here is going to uh, put some more water in this bladder instead of having a, a water bottle that I have to keep getting out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and refill it because it, it got empty, so it's a good good stopping point for me pretty much have that much left in there so it's really hard to suck out uh, because of that grow up people grow up uh, have my Gatorade I'm not gonna put Gatorade in this bladder because I don't want to mess up the the filter on it like the little nozzle but I do have plenty of water and I feel like I have about a mile and a half to go. I thought I had plenty of water. This one's empty. This one. Okay. Here's one. Well, it's better than nothing, right? What she said. Huh, maybe I only have one left. It's a good thing that I'm not that far away. I thought I had another, another bigger bottle. Apparently not. Huh, check one more time. Okay, well I'll just drink my, nope. I'll just go ahead and drink my, um, Gatorade while I'm sitting here and then put the rest of the water in this bladder Look at my food storage bin see if I have water in there and I don't Okay, well I'm glad I brought the water I did though 
and I should be able to make it back because I passed up a, a good water source back there because I thought that it was going to be there we go right here see I'm smarter than you think look at this look at this look at this I'm good to go so I did bring enough water I was, I was planning on at least bringing one gallon per five miles so uh, I, I brought definitely brought more than that but I drank more today um, just because I knew I had more and I wanted to stay hydrated you got to kind of lay this flat and then open it up to pour the water in but I'm gonna do this and uh, get to going in a little bit Break's already over, like five minutes later. Um, I got a little ADHD problem, if you guys didn't know. Maybe A, triple A, double D. A, adult attention, acute adult attention deficit disorder. Or triple A, DHD, hyper disorder. I don't know, whatever it is. I should, should rest more often. But my brain is still going even though i'm sitting still my brain is still going and once i'm walking my brain slows down because i get to think you know while i'm on the trail it's just it's weird i'm weird i know i'm i'm admitting it okay that's the first step but i think i have another mile and a half to go on this trail or maybe a half mile and then another mile and a half after that then i'll be done for today so hopefully after today I'll be I'll have over 20 miles in, but we'll see, okay? I thought this was downhill. How the hell is it uphill both ways? I can see a little clearing up ahead. I'm not sure if that's the the junction road or not. They cleared a lot of stuff out of here. It is really, really neat how trees save save on um, branches to try to get to the sunlight. Because there's no no limbs on the tree until you get up to about here. So it's like country country palm trees. You heard it here first, guys. You can use it if you want. But if you make a lot of money off that saying, you let me know. That's why I call it country kimchi for my chow chow. I call it country kimchi because it looks like kimchi. And it's weird. It's just funny to say. That's all I had. That's what I said.
Now, Lee, if you was camping out here, if you was camping out here, had tons of logs to make some kind of little cabin, a little wigwam. God dang it, look at that. This hill goes all the way up, all the way up, all the way up there. Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining about the freaking hill, maybe. On a positive note, it is shady and a little cooler than the other spot. So let's think positive, folks. Let's do that. Let's turn that frown upside down. More trouble, less trouble. This is gonna take somebody's head off if they're riding a bike. I'm definitely gonna to try to try to do fix this one. Okay. Oops. Okay, I'll fix the rest of it. You gotta have faith in me, I'll do it, but I need two hands for this, okay? Go ahead and say it. I'm gonna have to carry a little handsaw with me just for this, just to help other hikers and bikers out. Because I had to lift that over my head and go this way with it to push it and tuck it in behind that tree. But that tree fell on it and caused that branch to come into the, the pathway. I have, have, Quite a bit respect for the people that maintain these uh, trail, these trails. Um, I'm not sure who put all these freaking. Oh, I was gonna talk about the hill, but I'm not. But uh, same person that put that sign up put this one up. This must be a really, really, really sharp, dangerous, dangerous one because there's an arrow, and this is sideways. So you can't even hardly see it. I guess I'm gonna be a, a maintenance. <laughs> there you go. I can see it better. <laughs> All right. There we go. But they probably have saws and stuff too, so probably helps out. Hey, we're coming up on a road. Um, we don't need to look at that sign because that's going that direction. Let's go look at this one across the street. Make sure, kids, look both ways. Twice. Okay. Got emergency access 10. No horses, no ATVs. This time the ATV is on top. So definitely no ATVs. Okay, this one's called the E-Blue Trail. We got the Long Jump Trail and four tenths of a mile, Noxubi Hill Road, half a mile, Sheep Ranch Trail, 1.9 miles. That point four sounds a lot better, but I need a map to, to see exactly where we must go. I only have one point one miles to go to meet my eight mile deal today. Eight mile, uh, what do you call it? Quota, my quota. Okay. E Blue Road is right there. It's gonna connect to, where's the Pigeon Road? Did I just, did, was I on the Pigeon Road? Uh oh, they, they confuse you right at the end. Maybe it's, I get senile. Is that 
pigeon roost road. That's pigeon roost road right there. So that's not even a trail. That's just a road. Okay, because it says road. All right. All right, if it says road, that means it's just a road. So I remember Noxubi Hill Road is just a road as well. So to go... Hmm, I'm not going to walk down a road. I'm not going to walk down a freaking road when I can just go through the forest for a trail. So, I'm just going to go all the way to Sheep Ranch Trail, 1.9 miles. So, I'm definitely going to meet my 1.1 miles. So, I got two more miles to go. Sheep Ranch Road. Then, once I hit Sheep Ranch Road, I want to bust a left. So, I want to go east. Hopefully. We'll see. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. So when somebody always tells you that, hey, you can't miss it, it means you're going to miss it. Okay. Go past the two billy goats. Get the one billy goat with the limp leg and the gray hair. And then make a right at the fork. Okay. Go straight at the fork. Go straight at the fork. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. to stop here because this is the first time I saw like a three leaf clover bush look at this maybe it's not a three leaf clover bush but it's what I'm calling it if you guys know what it is let me know in the comments we'll post stop recording You hear that? Do you hear that? Listen. What do you have to say today, ma'am? Repent of your sins. Repent of my sins. Of your sins. Of my sins. That's right. And be baptized in the name of Jesus. Ah, la, 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 la. Oh, la, 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 Yes. Nothing. That is very peaceful. That is a perfect dirty dancing log. Look at that perfect log. Oh my God. It is about 30 foot up though from that creek. I think I'm going to pass on that. But uh, let's just imagine. Let's just imagine I was on that log. That's what she said. Let's let's do it now. If you be my girl. Hey, hey, baby. I'll be your girl. If you be my girl. When I saw you walking down the street, I said that's the kind of girl I'd like to meet. She's so pretty, oh, she's fine. I'm gonna make her mine. Did you like it? That's what she said too. Whatever, I gotta go. Go stop recording. Go stop recording. Not sure what this is about. Somebody left their sheath. I don't know what that's for, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm putting it right back up there. Okay. 
Okay, we got emergency access 11. We got a long jump trail to the left and a long jump trail to the right. So, I have to figure out where we're at. Noxubi Hill Road, 0.1 miles. Yes, because I just went four tenths of a mile. Golly, I thought it went like 1.4, but that's Pigeon Roost Road where I came from with that gravel road. But 0.1 miles, we're going to hit a road and then we're going to go to Long Jump Trail. Let's see if I'm correct. I guess there's a road because there's emergency access right there. Okay. GoPro stop recording. I am glad I stopped just like as soon as I get off this camera, I stopped to look at this map. Yes, if I did that route, yeah, I would have went the wrong freaking way. But that's Pigeon Roost Road, I thought. But I'll uh, get back down here and uh, make sure. If I go to the right, that's Blue E. It's Blue E that way. That's Blue E. That way, Long Jump Trail, I believe I need to go this way. So. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.